Step 1. At the center of the terraformer, there is a section that is shaped like a ball. Point your nose at the ball and keep it there for the remainder of the exercise. Note, be sure to zero your throttle. The default input to do so is holding or double tapping the S key. Step 2. Use left or right strafe to fly sideways in an orbit around the terraformer. E is the default for right strafe, and Q is the default for left strafe. Step 3. Continue to use pitch and yaw to keep your nose pointed at the ball in the center of the terraformer. Step 4. Use forward strafe to tighten your orbit around the terraformer. Control plus W is the default for this, but we recommend you bind it to just W. Step 5. Use backward strafe to widen your orbit around the terraformer. Control plus S is the default for this, but again we recommend you bind it to just S. Step 6. Use left or right roll to tilt your orbit in a new direction. Note that despite your lateral strafe input, mostly vertical acceleration will accomplish this adjustment. The A key is the default for the left roll, and the D key is the default for the right roll. Step 7. Decouple your ship. Caps lock is the default for this input. This will change your strafe inputs from velocity to an acceleration based system. Step 8. Note that the IFCS is less responsive to strafe inputs. Depending on your ship, some forward strafe may be necessary to overcome this and maintain your previous range from the terraformer. Step 9. Repeat forward, backward, and tilt steps to test your key bindings. They're different in decoupled mode, and note the difference in IFCS responsiveness. Step 10. Repeat the exercise as desired.